guys welcome back to cooking with friends so today we are going to make a meatloaf meatloaf is something that is really good but sometimes people are intimidated by making it and not that many people make it for some odd reason but today we're going to give you our secret special topping sauce which is going to blow the minds of everyone in your house and everyone's going to like it even if you don't like meatloaf people typically like this meatloaf because of the sauce that we put on top and the flavors that go inside and we're going to teach you a little trick of how to keep it moist so what you'll be needing you know on cooking with friends we only use ground turkey but please feel free to use ground beef you're going to need one uh bell pepper an onion some garlic I don't know if you guys can see but it's minced garlic here and then you're going to need garlic italian seasoning blend salt pepper and then you're going to need bread crumbs now when you get the bread crumbs we highly recommend you get in the italian style because of course it's seasoned you want your food to be seasoned and flavorful <clears throat> now with the with the breadcrumbs itself we do already have our soaking in milk that is the key thing of not having a dry meatloaf is to soak the breadcrumbs in milk you're going to sprinkle in just a little bit of parmesan cheese and for the top this is what we like to use we're going to actually puree this but we're going to use the fire roasted garlic diced tomatoes brown sugar and mustard it's simple but it's so flavorful and it's so good so let's get started so a key thing that i like to do is i like to i like to saute the veggies first and that's in anything that i'm cooking i don't really like to put raw veggies in anything and i am going to go ahead and add this garlic butter as i say in almost every video this is my favorite garlic butter ever you can get this from sam's club if you don't have a sam's club in your area you can actually order this off of amazon so this is packed when i say pack it's packed with flavor so typically you really don't need to put any like salt and pepper on it because the butter already has enough flavor in it and don't forget we're going to go ahead as well and season the meatloaf as well so you don't really need to season it you just need to saute this around so you're going to add your onions your bell pepper and your garlic and you're just going to saute this around until it gets a little bit of translucent And then after this gets translucent, it'll be ready to go ahead and you let it cool just a little bit. You don't want to put it in into your meatloaf mixture piping hot. You're just going to let it sit. And then while this is cooked down and then it sits, we're going to go ahead and get started on our meatloaf mixture. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and put down your salt. Pepper. your garlic your Italian season blend and you're going to start off with these first and go ahead and massage everything in okay so now I'm going to go ahead and add in some Mrs. Dash and I'll massage this in and next you're going to want to go ahead and put in one egg have my assistant here all right and massage your egg in then we're going to go ahead and add in just a sprinkle of parmesan cheese And then you're going to go ahead and add your breadcrumbs in that have been sitting in milk. And you can go ahead and massage everything in. And that's the last step of everything that you need. Well, no, that's not the last step. <laughs> you want to massage this in because actually we can't forget about our veggies that's on the stove. And we're going to go ahead and add that in. 
All right. And you're gonna make sure that you well combine this very good. Massage everything in. And then next, we're gonna go ahead and create it into a loaf. Go ahead and put it into a pan, but if you have a meatloaf pan, it's even better. But if you don't have one, no fear. No fear, no worries, because you can shape it into a meatloaf. You're just gonna fold it in, and you just really have to just shape it with your hands, and make sure that you tuck it from the bottom. It's just all about molding it. And we're gonna smooth the top out once we're done. And you wanna to try to mold it up as high as you can because since we don't have a pan, it will kind of flatten out just a little bit. But try to get it all together. Should look like this. I am actually gonna go ahead and put this in the oven on 380 and I'm going to do this before I put the sauce on because I want this to cook a little bit and then I will add the sauce to this loaf out it is halfway done it should look like this and this is when you can go ahead and begin to put the sauce on top as you see we have already pureed it down and simply just have to add it to the top and it'll drip down to the sides and you don't want to use all of your sauce because you're going to baste it one more time when it comes out or halfway through. Halfway when you're ready to do it, do it for like five more minutes before you're ready to serve it. And then you're going to go ahead and throw that back into the oven. What your meatloaf should look like, it's nicely done. But like I said, I want to baste it one more time. And from this point, you should cut your oven off. And you can just put it in there for about five more minutes so that this can cook into it, but pretty much cut it off because it's done. You just really want to warm this sauce and so it can sit deep down in your meatloaf. But this is when you're going to take your remaining sauce and just pat it on there with a brush and you're all done. And here you have it, the finished result of your meat loaf. The sauce is going to be the star of the show, but not even only that, it's going to be moist, it's going to be seasoned, and it's going to be perfect. Something simple and easy to do for your family. Now, be sure to tag us if you do this recipe, and we hope that you guys enjoy.